Hi, welcome back to my channel, guys. Today we are continuing the series All Things Enneagram, and my name is Hillary, and I identify as a type nine, and this is I'm Rachel Pales. Hi. And what do you identify as? I'm a type nine too. Whoa! What an exciting day. I get to interview a type nine. All right, so a nine is known as the peacemaker or the peaceful person. And they are warm, they are adaptable, they love to keep the peace, but they also can be spaced out and indecisive. And um, so when you were typed as a nine, mm -hmm. how did you feel? It felt like it opened up a world of understanding myself better. Yeah if that yeah. makes sense. Mm -hmm. I also look at a nine as a big picture person. Oh yeah. And being able to see the big picture really well. And I excel at that. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that is, it just felt like it got me. Yeah. This yeah. crazy Enneagram thing got me. <laughs> yeah. Was it like, oh my gosh, like it was reading your own mail. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. I the good, the that. good and the bad. Yeah. The yeah. good and the bad. It's like, oh yeah, I do that. And I maybe yeah. didn't even realize I did it. It was an awareness. Right. There's an awareness and in health and in stress. And I know we're going to talk about that a little bit, but yeah. yeah, it was just opening up this window into myself, putting words with how I really felt. Yes. That's exactly how I felt. Yeah. Oh, I was like, wait, how would they know this much stuff about yeah. me? But Obviously we take a test and we answer a bunch of questions and um, it's a really cool process. Yeah, so. it is. It is. It's and a journey. It's a journey of discovery. Yes. Love it. I yeah. love how you put that. All right. So the basic fear of a nine is conflict, but the basic desire of a nine is peace. So how do those um, play out in your life? I don't like conflict. Yes. I actually can avoid conflict, which is unhealthy at times also. Mm -hmm. and causes some problems in relationships when you don't deal with the things that you need to deal with. So, mm -hmm. and conflict can shut me down. If yeah. I do get into conflict with someone or something, it exhausts me mm -hmm. and I need a break afterwards. And mm -hmm. I've learned that mm -hmm. through this journey that it's okay to take a break. Yep, It's it okay is. to step back and recharge and then come back into life. And so, yeah, that has been a huge realization for me. Yeah. And yeah, Cause yeah, I don't like conflict yeah. at all, but there is healthy conflict. Sure. So absolutely. I know for me, it was like no conflict, but then the Enneagram really helped me realize that sometimes we have to have conflict, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And so finding that healthy balance. Right. And I could enter into conflict with certain people and it not affect me, but with others, it would just devastate me Yeah. or like I said, exhaust me. Yeah. So it, I don't yeah. understand that piece, but there's different levels of conflict and people mm -hmm. and relationship in my life. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So the main objective of a nine is to keep the peace, create a peaceful environment. Um, kind of like, okay, if everyone's okay, I'm okay type of environment. So what is it like for you at nine to process anger and where do you put it? I feel like for me, when I get angry, I need to get it out. I, mm -hmm. I very much verbally process my poor husband gets mm -hmm. the brunt of it, but I usually say, let me get through it and I will work it out by the time I get through it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm a verbal processor, but I don't tend to hold on to stuff long-term. Right. I tend to be able right. to move on and actually not remember it, which I don't know if that's good either. That's a nine, but mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. something would have happened. He'll remember something that happened five years ago. And I'm like, did that really happen? I don't yeah. remember. I'm yeah. sorry. I, yeah. So yeah. that's kind of how I process through anger. Yeah. And I guess, um, that's very, it's awesome that you process it at all. Um, very healthy mm -hmm. because sometimes nines, we, we bury it to where we can, can't, we have no access to it for a while. Yeah. And then once it comes out, it's like, boom, yeah, I don't tend to be a volcano. Oh, good. I don't tend to do anger that way. I try to deal with things as they come up, mm -hmm. as hard as it may be. And like I said, mm -hmm. I I don't necessarily deal with the person because mm -hmm. I have a motto, it's better to be kind than right. So mm -hmm. I try to mm -hmm. figure out where I'm at first mm -hmm. before I talk to the person that I may be angry at or decide if it's even worth it to yeah. talk to the person that I'm angry at. Yeah. Because it might not be worth it. That's true. I really like your healthy view because I think I have something to learn from you because I am a volcano. I am good until I'm not good, <laughs> yeah. but then it's quick and it's over. And like you, I have no access to it once I'm done. Yeah. And so 
that's good. Yeah. And then sometimes bad. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about the wings. The nine with the one wing, which the one being the perfectionist, and the nine with the eight wing, which the eight wing being the challenger. So the nine with the one wing could be, um, they tend to be a little more calm, a little more maybe organized and perfectionist, maybe not organized, depending on their health, but like perfectionistic. And I know with me, I'm a one wing, mm -hmm. and so um, I tend to be, nothing's ever good enough. I'm always redoing. Re rearranging a room or um, redoing my website a million times because it doesn't, it's never perfect. And so, and then the nine with the the eight wing, which they um, value harmony above everything. They are sensitive to criticism though. And they um, like to create peace, but they also like to create peace in others. And so um, that becomes something that they, they try and help others with their own peace. And so Which for you always healthy, <laughs> right? <laughs> Cause people don't want to be helped with their own peace sometimes. Right. So I, I had an issue a while back where one of my strongholds was managing relationships uh -huh. and not mine with the person, but like a whole group oh, of people. Yeah. And that wasn't my responsibility. And so that was mm -hmm. the, un I'm mm -hmm. the eight wing. I'm the, I'm the nine yes. with the eight wing. Yep. And that was something that I had to work through with the Lord and mm -hmm. break off to become healthier, to realize it's, it's my relationship with you, not yeah. your relationship with this person and that person it's, and the whole group. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, I really worked through, worked hard on that. To yeah. Break that off. So. Yeah. That's so good because I, I tend to do the same thing. Um, so I'm a nine with a one wing, but I can, you know, you can use both at sure. different times. Um, but I, like you, can tend to think like, well, I think this is what you would want. You would want peace yeah. too, right? But what the Enneagram frees us of is realizing that they're their own person mm -hmm. and that they don't necessarily need peace above everything right. else. So. so a statement that I say often mm -hmm. is it's better to be kind than right. So good. Yes. And yes. when you are in a family with some challengers mm -hmm. who think that it's better to be right than kind. Mm -hmm. It's maddening. <laughs> yes. <laughs> As a nine. So yeah. trying to teach um, our kids that they don't always have to be right. Oh, it's okay. So Cause being kindness matters. Yeah. yeah. And I think that's what nines bring to the world too. Is yes. Kindness matters. Yeah. And mm -hmm. some of the other numbers, not in a bad way, but they lose sight of that. Yeah. Yeah. And they want to get their point across at all costs, which yeah. isn't healthy either. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a balance. A point. It is a balance. It's a it balance. Definitely, it definitely is a balance. So, well, you answered my question, which, what is your wing? I'm so, an eight. She's an eight wing. I eight love wing. it. All right. So question number five, I think mm -hmm. we're on. And okay. That question is how can others love you best? See me. Yep. Mm -hmm. Your I presence think, matters. Yeah. My presence ma yeah. matters because I can be quiet yes. at times yep. and I'm not as, um, outgoing and that's, I don't know what the right word is. Um, you don't have to have the limelight. Right. Right. I actually prefer not to have the limelight, right. but that doesn't mean I don't want to be seen. Yes. So, yeah. mm -hmm. um, see me, listen to me. Yes. Even if you don't agree, that's okay. Mm -hmm. But if I feel heard, I, we will get along a lot better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and work through things better mm -hmm. if I feel heard and yeah. validate what I say. Yeah. Yeah. That's perfect because it is the, the nine needs to know that their presence matters. That's yeah. the most important thing. And a lot of times the way, the reason why even um, peace is so important to a nine is because somewhere along the line in their childhood, early adult age, um, they were told either with words or sometimes not even people don't even use words to tell you, right? It's what you feel. It might be what you heard, even if n no one really said it was that your presence didn't matter. Mm -hmm. And so, um, that is, that's kind of where it comes from. Right. And we're, and we constantly want to know, like we do matter. Yeah. Right. And so that's even good. if we're not as outgoing, yeah. Outgoing yeah. is the wrong word. Right. Cause um, you are outgoing. Yeah. I am very outgoing. Yeah. But yeah. I don't need the limelight. Right. I, I like to be in the background and supporting others, but it is, and I don't need to be seen all the time. Yeah. But once in a while, just for someone to say, I see you, mm -hmm. I see your heart mm -hmm. that just sends me to the moon and back. Yeah. yeah. And one thing I know about her is you see others. Yeah. You I do. do. I know this. I've seen it firsthand. I've seen you tell others, you know, I see you and make them feel just as important mm -hmm. and seen and heard. Yeah. And so it's a beautiful gift that you need, but you also give it freely. Yeah. 
So I love good. people. Yes, 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 she does. All right, so moving on to the arrows of a nine. So when we are like truly at our healthiest, we're, you know, there's the level of development um, is one through nine, but then also you have an arrow that goes towards a three yeah. when you're at your healthiest. And what that means is you're getting things done, you're showing up for your own life, mm -hmm. your own dreams matter to you, um, you're not asleep to your own wants and desires. You're right. like, no, no, no. You're not only are you wanting others to tell you that your presence matters, you're telling yourself that your presence yeah. matters. Yep. And so, and what that is, is the Holy Spirit is an enabling you to grow. You're spending time with the Lord. Therefore, um, hearing this from the Lord mm -hmm. and going after that. And so yep. it's that healthy side of a three. Um, but on the flip side, the other arrow, um, when we're under stress, we go towards the unhealthy side of a six. Mm -hmm. So which can be, um, we're anxious, we get fearful, um, we might panic. Um, all of a sudden our world can feel rocked yeah. and um, it's just because we're stressed. And so for you, how do those wings play out in your life? I can say there was a season where I was very broken mm -hmm. and very unhealthy, mm -hmm. physically as well as emotionally and so much fear, mm -hmm. irrational mm -hmm. fear, irrational, fear. irrational That's fear. Key. So mm -hmm. things that, you know, think I, I would make up these scenarios in my head of things happening to my kids or my yes. husband okay. and they were so irrational, but they mm -hmm. felt so real to me mm -hmm. and I would just hide yep. and cause it was easier to hide and try to protect mm -hmm. than to be out there living mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. But when I'm healthy, yeah, boy, can I get stuff done? Yeah, and yeah. I can move and shake and all mm -hmm. kinds of stuff going mm -hmm. on. So, mm -hmm. and I'm very healthy right now. I feel mm -hmm. like myself. Yeah, and when I'm yeah. healthy, I feel like myself. Yes, and when I'm sense. in an unhealthy spot, I just I, it's almost like an outer body experience mm -hmm. where I'm like mm -hmm. I I can stand above myself. I'm like that's not you. Shake mm -hmm. out of it, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. for me, it was the Lord and freedom mm -hmm. and coaching with you and oh, really realizing you. all of this and learning about myself mm -hmm. and what healthy looked like and what unhealthy looked like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when I start to maybe slip back into it, I know yes. what to do to pull myself out yes. now. Faster. Yes. We pivot. Much. Yes. We pivot. know. Good we word. Pivot. pivot. Yep. I like that. Yeah. No yep. pivot. You pivot. <laughs> so you know, you can recognize sooner. Oh, I'm under stress. Why am I under yeah. stress? Okay. Go to the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, what's going on? And yep. then you can pivot. That is the gift. I think um, using this as a, the Enneagram as a tool right. for us. So, well, and with my husband, who's a five, he also can recognize in me what's going on now that we know this yeah. and is able to help me see a little bit better. Yep. Cause he's so stinking smart um, <laughs> and remembers everything. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. um, but it is helpful for him. If I'm healthy, I can receive that a yeah. lot better than when I'm in an unhealthy place. Yeah. That makes perfect Or it sense. takes me shorter time to respond or to process it. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right. So, um, I have a question for you mm -hmm. and sure. it has to do with the deadly sin of a nine, mm -hmm. which is sloth, sloth, right? Which is when you shared that with me, mm -hmm. that's when the Enneagram became real. Really? Yeah, it was because I can do that. And for me, slothing means vegging out in front of a Netflix series, not yes. a show, a yes. series. Yes. And in times of real unhealth, you know, I, I was sick also, but I just will veg out and mm -hmm. escape mm -hmm. into, mm -hmm. into that world, into mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. that fiction, fictitious world instead of living my own life. Exactly. And, and the difference, okay. So sloth sounds like it means laziness, but it doesn't, it yeah. doesn't mean that we're lazy. Um, like physically, mm -hmm. it means with our own dreams and desires, yeah. life gets overwhelming. Yeah. We don't know what to do with it. Therefore, I'm just going to, I'm just going to zone out and watch some TV right. or whatever that is for you. I know for me, it could be, um, games on my phone, mm -hmm. you know, where it's like hours can go by. Yeah. And Escaping so. into Instagram for hours and hours yes. and hours. And I, I yeah. love Instagram. I have no problem with it, but there is an mm -hmm. unhealthy level. Mm -hmm. I think that mm -hmm. I can, I can go to. Mm -hmm. So where, when I'm healthy, I feel like, especially lately, the Lord's been unpacking some dreams and desires in me that mm -hmm. aren't for now. And that's okay. Yeah. But yeah. I say percolating. There are some things percolating that Beautiful. I'm very excited for. And yeah. I wouldn't have been able to hear that three years ago. Yeah. 
you know, my, right. my heart was just not open to that. And, but now I'm excited where three years ago I would have wanted to throw up. Yeah. No, makes perfect sense. So, so yeah. in the end, the Enneagram has helped you just wake up. Yeah. Wake up to who I am and who God made me to be mm -hmm. and better understand how I process life. Yeah. And how others process life. Yes. Yeah. You know, it's helped me be a better wife. It's helped me mm -hmm. be a better mom and understand my kids, even though we're kind of still figuring out where my daughter's at. But my son, we very much know where he's at. And mm -hmm. it's seeing life through that filter and helping yeah. process and parent through that has been so helpful. Yeah. And just you processing oh. with you and just you. your encouragement. So thank you. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. You like awoke this new realization in me. So I'm so thankful. Oh my gosh. Thank so you thankful. for that. I appreciate that. Yeah. Mm, I love her. So, all right. Well, we're at the end. Awesome. You it was fun. Thanks. You did amazing. You did amazing. You did amazing. We're amazing. <laughs> we're affirming each other. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, just thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped you. I hope this not only helped you if you're a nine, understand yourself yeah. a little better, but if you have a nine in your life, you know, yeah. you can, you can, um, show up for them, um, more loving with more grace and, um, and more kindness. Grace. Good word. Grace. Yeah. Grace. Yes. So, um, if you like this video, please subscribe, please like it. And, um, just a little tidbit. If you subscribe, I usually put these on YouTube about 24 hours before I launch them. So they go public. And so if you subscribe, you get uh, first dibs That's on awesome. watching. Yeah. So you can actually watch them before I officially launch them. So there's and share it. Yes. Share, 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 share it. Um, this will help you. This helps others. So mm -hmm. yeah. So, and leave me any comments. If you have any questions or concerns, let me know. I'd love to answer them. And then any of my information, I'll leave it in um, the description below. If you'd like to um, learn more about Enneagram coaching or life coaching mm -hmm. or anything like that, um, I'll give you all the information in the description box below. So awesome. thanks, Rachel. You're welcome. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Let me just get this all Is that your, when you know how to edit? Yeah. <laughs> no. I'm like, <laughs> okay. We'll cut right there. So when you typed yourself as a one, um, how did you feel? When I typed myself as a nine? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That's going to be a great blooper. <laughs> okay. Affirm right. me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, I'm gonna cut out awesome. I say it too much. Awesome! Awesome! <laughs> <laughs>